Hey, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pindi Lezane Nganyanakajene, the girl of today, the girl of this very moment, darling. And if you don't know it by now, I don't know where the heck you have been because opportunities have definitely been passing you by, but do not worry because you know that when you see my face, I am yet back again with another opportunity. And today, I'm not back with one, but two opportunities for you and uh, i really hope you um enjoy today's video but before we go anywhere um please don't forget to share like and subscribe guys the numbers are growing and i'm appreciating it so much and please don't forget to switch on your notifications so that when i drop a video you will be the first one to know you'll be the first one to you know um hoi in those applications you will just be the first one um to receive information at first hand and and get those applications going okay all right so without any waste of time um today's um okay i'm first going to start with the lancet one lancet's phlebotomy um program or student they call it a student phlebotomy program something like that has been opened and uh, it actually has been opened since the first of august it's just that i was not able to create a video i was not able i was just not in a good space you know to create a video i was sick i was i was literally sick for the longest time i'm still recovering even now um apologies for you know the attire but yeah I, I literally i was not even going to create this video i come from work and i just decided to, you know what let me just do it so yeah lancet's phlebotomy program is now open um yeah student phlebotomy program so it is like any other phlebotomy program that i have mentioned in my previous videos it's just that this one is lancet and the closing date is on the 31st of um on the 31st of August for people that are in KZN and on the 30th of August for people, you know, the like the all the other provinces of South Africa. So when you get on the website, like on the Lancet website, ne, so you're going to go on their careers portal and then there's two of them. Ne? So there's one for KZN only. You'll see that it just literally says KZN. So the people from KZN should be the ones that are applying for that, right? And then there's one that has like all the other provinces listed in it and then yeah if you are from other provinces except KZN that's where you're going to you know um yeah that's the the one that you're going to apply um with so now with Lancet um it says it, it needs a grade 12 with English mathematics and biology with a D symbol I don't know what a D symbol is I'm assuming it's 50 percent uh, I'm not quite sure and then yeah it lists your key performances underneath and uh yes your competencies and obviously there will be a stipend i'm not sure how much um lancet pays their students i'm not even sure how much these companies all pay their students now so that information um you can you know do research on and find out for yourself um so yeah it closes on the 30th at 12 o'clock um so now with lancet you obviously have to uh like if you want to apply for whatever anything that they advertise on their um on their careers portal you first have to register with them but i will show you guys the application process as i usually do um towards the end of the video um so that you guys can actually see how it's done um for those of you that have never applied with lancet before but those of you that know and have a profile with them you can just easily go update your profile and apply right make sure that your profile is up to date if you already have one make sure that your cv is up to date there because i know that it requires you to upload your cv or it requires you to enter it manually i'm not quite sure but all i know is that everything has to make sense so whatever um you know whatever let's say for instance um you have uh, an experience you know a job experience so whatever job experience you have there has to be a reference for it otherwise you will not be able to move forward or you'll not be able do you understand it it asks you um you know uh uh, like uh, what is it your duties that you were doing um for that particular experience um it asks you i know it's very detailed you know so you have to be patient with yourself and um yeah, just know that whatever that you put in, you have to see it all the way through. Every job experience that you have, if you have one, um, there has to be duties in it. There has to be uh, um, a contactable reference in it uh, and all of that, right? And even if you don't have it, that's okay, okay? Um, it's very easy to navigate, but I will show you guys, right? Um, and then another... Um, 
learnership that has been open is the medical technician uh, the path care medical technician i carry the previous one was the phlebotomy one that was open so now the medical technician is the one that is open let's see um yes it is the student medical technician program i know on the website it says path care academy n1 city cape town but the main academy is in even with the phlebotomy the main academy is in n1 city cape town but it does not mean that you are going to attend at n1 city cape town right um they have academies all over south africa and uh yeah i'm sure you can request or they can place you at any academy that they see fit i think right so just apply ne? don't be scared don't, by the cape town n1 city cape town don't be scared just apply so now um, with this one, um, Pathcare, I know it does not require you to register um, on the uh, portal for whatever reasons. You just literally get on, click on the, the vacancy and, you know, go through the application process and everything. So this one, um, it needs a grade 12 with physical science of 50% or life science 50 percent with mathematics so this one is not with meds lit so this one is just pure meds with um 50 percent right no compromises whatsoever you need to um have the necessary requirements for them to consider you for them to consider your application right and uh, i've seen um that you guys have written some of you guys that have applied for the phlebotomy program have written your online assessment and have been asking me to advise them on what is on the online assessment i did mention this and i'm going to mention this again i did mention it last year i enrolled in the program years ago like so it was pre-covid and things were done differently i've never done any online assessment i don't know what it entails I don't like from here forth like after i share the opportunity with you guys i don't know what happens i don't know when the online assessment um happens i don't know after how long do they get back to you guys i don't know how they do their things i don't know when the like i don't know anything i'm just here to share information with you guys and uh yes like i did say i don't work for these companies i'm just you know a person that just shares information to you guys so that you guys can apply right yes and then, um, so the closing date for the medical technician one is on the 6th of September, the 6th yes, of September, um, 2024, it's on a Friday. So that is when the closing date is at everything I think happens pretty much online. Let me see. Yes. There is an application link right here. Um, and yeah, if you know me, you know, I don't share links. I show you guys the whole application process because links can be very deceiving and can land you at incorrect, um, websites and so forth. Right. So yeah, there is an application online that you fill, you know, you just fill in everything and, uh, yeah, it's very easy to apply. Very, very, very easy. And then at the end of it, it requires you to upload your metric certificate in a PDF format. And that's what you do. Or if you have any other qualifications let's say a degree or whatever so if you are a person that wants to work in the lab and 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 this is the you know this is an opportunity for you here is an opportunity for you to actually um apply you know you can select if that you have a degree or any other qualification you can upload that if you have a metric certificate you can upload that um yeah yes so even if you have uh whether you have i know people have been asking me um uh, saying that they uh, have incomplete studies and stuff like it literally caters for all of that so you literally get on the website and you do that but i will also show you guys the whole application process on the website and um yeah just make sure that you follow it through and if you have any other questions you can ask me so i know what path usually does it will take out two of them so it will take out one like a normal one like this and it'll maybe in a week or two or whatever it will take out another one saying um, for metric only so don't confuse the two if you are currently in metric there is one that is coming for you guys so that you guys can apply right the one that's not going to ask you obviously the application is not going to be the same as this one that's currently open now for people that have already passed metric okay so i saw that there was a bit of a confusion with um the phlebotomy one um because they first opened uh, a normal phlebotomy one and then later on opened um for people that were already in matric and people got it confused you know people were saying no i only see the one that only says matric only or no i only see do you understand what i mean so do not be confused like just be on the lookout for that right um i hope i covered everything um in this whatever few minutes video and i wish you guys all the best 
and from now on i'm always going to say this please um you know pray for for um for such things pray, uh, pray for your careers you know make sure that um you are aligned make sure that god has is aligning you you know with the right career path don't just apply for the sake of applying yes i understand um, unemployment is very frustrating and and all of that but make sure that you know it's something that is truly aligned um with your purpose right always pray about these things and i think that's when you'll know because you will not always like knock on all these other doors um, because sometimes yes the door is open but it's not for you do you understand yes the opportunity is there but it's not for you maybe god wants you somewhere else and whenever you're busy knocking on the you know on the wrong doors i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah i'm sure i am but yeah i think i'm always going to say this or emphasize this pray about your um your careers pray about your purpose do you understand um so yeah i'm just gonna end this video here and i wish all of you guys the best i really do mean it when i say that i want all of you guys to just be employed or just be doing something you know by the end of this year even if it's not this even if it's something else maybe i will be sharing more things you know in the future to come you never know and that will be something that is for you okay even if you don't qualify for this one or you don't have the necessary requirements then that clearly shows that this is not for you and probably there will be something for you out there okay and um what else did i want to say um yes i i really hope that um yeah everything just works together man for for the goodness of those who love the lord yeah anyway from me to you guys it is always love there's just so many things on my mind that i want to say all at once and i'm so sorry that i'm talking so fast it was because i never planned this video to even start with but i'm just glad that i did it anyway so um yeah i love you lot, guys Mwah. Um, okay guys, so you're basically going to type Lancet or Lancet Careers and it's going to bring you to this, you know, to this page right here. And then you basically click um, Lancet Careers Portal and um, you'll see that as you scroll down, um, because, you know, I, I did obviously make a video late, it's on the second page. So like I did say, um, there is two of them, right? So there is this one, the KZN one. Um, and it shows on the 24th, it's literally the same thing. And then there's this one where it accommodates the rest of the other provinces. So if you are in these areas, this is where you apply. Um, this is the, you know, the link that you apply on. And if you are catered in, this is the link that you apply on. So let's check on the vacancy details. Um, guys, like I said, you need to first, um, let me do this. Let me log out so that you guys can actually see. You need to first, um, log in actually um before you can apply for any vacancy that is on the lancet portal right so if you don't have a profile with them you have to first register and then that's when you'll be able to log in so for instance i've logged out right now so when i click on this i'm unable to apply for it you know even if i check all the please read the information there so even if i go down here and say apply now it's going to ask me to either log in or register as an individual you know obviously you guys are not recruiters but if you are in a recruiter you can but as an individual you need to register if you don't have a profile yet if you do have a profile like myself you just need to log in and update your profile and make sure that everything is correct right um log in as an individual log in and yeah and then you will see that when you click on the vacancy you are now able to apply for it it's going to ask you a few questions and then yeah then it's just easier to just take the next yes or no or whatever uh obviously reasons that they will ask you regarding a particular vacancy right so let's take the very same one for instance i'm just gonna scroll down and now uh, apply now now i've logged in right so now as you guys can see it starts asking me questions you know um and then yeah you basically just literally um you know answer whatever that they ask you and then you click submit and, and and you know just keep on um going further you know forward and forward, right um with whatever questions that they ask you so yeah uh let's see here what happens here. so that's basically what you do okay so now 
all right so now with the path k1 so i did you know insert path k there in my browser i can click on vacancies because i've been on vacancies a lot on my website but even if you've not been it's very easy to navigate their website love it you can literally find it here as soon as it opens maybe on the home um thingy here on the home a screen you can literally just click on the careers screen see because i think if you click on the past quiz website it might take you to the home screen first and then you'll have to open back here come back here and click on uh, the careers or the vacancy screen so when you click on the career or the vacancy screen it's literally the first one student medical technician program um uh it says in one city cape town because that's where the main academy is at it does not necessarily mean that's where you're going to be placed so apply regardless um of where you are in south okay and then obviously there are your requirements you need to make sure that you read through them to make sure that you understand them and make sure that you have whatever that they require of you the closing date like i did say mention it's on the 5th of september and then unlike um Lancet with Pathcare application is very much straightforward. You come here at the bottom of the page, you click um, on the application, it's going to take you to the smart sheets forms of theirs, and then you basically read here again just to make sure that you are not seeing anything out and that you understand. Um, and then, yeah, you fill in whatever that is required of you. That is literally your application. You fill in, you fill in, you fill in, and then you literally add a page and click that. Right, so it's not complicated. Um, you have a profile and it comes to okay. And that loves it refers that you guys have a profile and if you already have one, remember to update it. Um yeah, so that you can, you know, apply. And yeah, best of luck to everybody that will be applying. Yeah. Bye.